jazz lounge and just like chill out. I feel like that would be pretty cool. Get a nice glass of wine. This is going to be a pretty solid date. Call the SQC mess, call those motherfuckers because they, yeah, I'm not worried. I've already done that. Even the spread ain't worried about that already. But, yes, the, the net neutrality stuff is still going to be a big deal, so hopefully you guys get involved. Wish I could say I missed this place. You're back for good? See or hear anything suspicious with current people or your pals in the office? There's a game called uh, Knee Deep. It's a uh, mystery game, but it's, it's a little bit different than most games. Uh, heard her arguing game, with his girlfriend. But the uh, And that Cordray asshole is, kept trying to bully me away from here. It's kind of like a point-and-click game where you have to make dialogue choices and then find uh, clues from those choices or those talks. But the thing is that it's basically happening almost like a stage play. So there's different scenes and uh, pieces, but they're all kind of moving. So there's no like free range or anything. You can't walk around. What were Kurt and the girlfriend fighting about? Not sure, but she sounded really frustrated. Something about his opto levels. Church stuff, I guess. Octo levels. How'd you keep Cordray from kicking you out? That RV's blocking a handicapped parking space. I threatened to call the highway patrol. Local cops are totally in his pocket. The church sank its fangs that deep in Cypress Knee? That's bad news. So right now we're playing as the uh, detective Casey Garris or whatever his name is. Interesting name. A man he was about to commit suicide himself, but got a call to come to his old hometown. Well, Check out. I the, heard uh, you were coming to visit. A celebrity. But I scarcely believed you had the temerity to show your face. To make sure it's not an actual murder here. There's a creepy, weird church society here, almost like a, like a cult in this town um, and this guy Gordon Conroy is the leader of that church he's also uh, the the actor who supposedly committed suicide was part of this church as well with one of the highest uh, highest ranked leaders so something's kind of fishy here but we haven't really figured out exactly what's going on I'm shocked you know the word to Marity Cordray Thanks for playing this one. I wanted to see how it works. Yes, it's, uh, it's, it's been interesting. I'm certain it would astonish well, you to learn how much I know that you do not, Mr. Gaddis. Oh, I don't know. I figure the church has its tentacles in deeper than the NSA. It's hard to forget all the damage you've caused. A woman's life ruined? A successful man dead? Gordo, your friend Connor messed around with an underage girl. I didn't cause the damage he did. Interesting. Keep telling yourself that, Mr. Gaddis. Come on. It. So just by those dialogue choices, I pretty much put together part of that story. A lot of people knowing what it was going to cause there, so that was interesting. You've been busy, Mr. Gaddis. Show me some ID or we're done talking. No one is liable to miss you for a while, sir. Did Miller put you up to this? It ain't funny. This ain't my laughing face. We're serious, Mr. Gaddis. So that's your serious face? You've nursed a grudge against the Church of Us for a long time, haven't you? I guess it's a hobby. All this over a movie mogul and an actress 20 years ago. No, they hit close the to the home when I was a kid. Bankrupted my dad, bled right dry, now. 
after they told him he was a quantum. What's your plan after payback? After everything you've done? Are you satisfied? Oh man, I'm just getting started. So basically you're on a giant stage, as you can see here. The stages change depending on the relocation, so... It's like we're switching carriers again. After Hungry Chiefs, I made my way to the Mohawk Inn for a look at Kern's room. Anonymous said I didn't know the full story about Kern's death. Figured I might learn more here. So there's three different characters you can play as during the, uh, the story. I'm busy, Mom. Such a waste. He'd achieved so much with the church. More like he'd spent so much with the church, right? You never call. Only so many hours in a day. Soon as I can. So we basically build the elements of the story ourselves by making these dialogue choices. So it's not fifty dollars cool. a night, back with my no pets, especially ferrets. Ferrets? What? Does the cost include flea bombs? My rooms are free of fleas and the festering ferrets that carry them. You're really bent over ferrets, aren't you? High school locker room trauma? What do you want? I'm a blogger with fan rage. Maybe you've read my stuff? Phaedra? Anyway, hoping to look inside Tag Kern's room. They don't see the name Phaedra very often. I wonder if they've been watching some, uh, some, uh, what do you call it? Real Housewives of whatever. Yeah, well, it's sealed off. You got as much chance as I do of visiting Taylor Swift's dressing room tonight. Oh, these cultural references, though. First Bieber and now Taylor Swift. Come on now. It's for a good cause. Doubt it'll help me to help you. Want in that room? Talk to Ozzy Clendon. He's outside. standing guard oh, outside. Yeah. I mean, like, imagine they imagine they made a show about housewives and ferrets. What that would be like. Did I mention I'm with Fan Rage, Mr. Silloway? I know who you are. My daughter reads your Blarg thingy. Ain't like you cure cancer. Your Blarg thingy. Fine. Notice anything during current stay here? Candy plays. Thank you for that follow. Appreciate that. Welcome to. The Legion of Doom. You are now my newest villain. And you can declare your own villain name in chat. I believe you might be the first follow today, actually. Well, I saw Kern and his little girlfriend arguing. I gather things weren't all pop and sizzle in the sack. <laughs> oh, what? Pop and sizzle? Is that what you guys call it? You know, when you, when you get in... Give some nice toasty time if you're significant other. And, uh, a little, little pop and sizzle. Pop and sizzle in the sack. I mean, you need to tell Siren that. You're sure? She called him a flaccid, passionless mattress lump. Jeez. Could be I'm misinterpreting, but I'm mostly sure. Here comes the new challenger. Recall, well, welcome. I recognize that name. Thank you for the follow, and uh, welcome to the Legion of Doom, madam. How are you doing? How's your stream been going? I think you streamed uh, earlier today, or is that yesterday? I, I, I watched for a little bit. How, how you been? Thanks for your time. Uh, before you go, little girl, uh, something else I should tell you. What's that? Everybody's all wrong about Kirk. Didn't hang himself. He had help. He had help. How do you know? How do you know that? I was outside having a smoke when it happened. Saw two people up there. Looked like they were struggling. 
Did you keep it to yourself or alert the police? Chief Pendleton got the security camera footage from my computer after I told him. Show me. Yeah, you have the conversation about about wigs every day as well. I wish I could. You took the hard drive. Well, thanks. You know, we uh, I rock the seat for the uh, month. This is a uh, Noir November month where we play uh, mystery games and like uh, crime and thrillers and all that jazz. So uh, we're playing a game called Knee Deep. It's a uh, an indie game on Steam that I got for a couple bucks. And it plays out kind of like a stage play, so we're uh, gathering clues, uh, playing as a blogger right now who uh, writes some pretty inflammatory stuff on her blog about stuff like this. And there's a movie actor who's dead, so we're trying to find out exactly what happened. There's three characters, a detective, a classic newspaper writer, and uh, Phaedra here who's uh, into writing the, the heavy stuff, the gossip. Yo, VG Realm, welcome. Shout out to VG Realm. How are you doing, man? How are you living, sir? I was watching VG and, and uh, Amaya playing some games the other night. Pretty awesome couple. Rulich uh, Silver reports that Romana Teague that two people were atop a tower before actor Tag Kerr died. That's a pretty big pretty big news break there. So right now we basically get to choose the, how we're going to spend the article, which is a pretty interesting element. So basically we're playing as this blogger chick right now, but we can, we can, we can pretty much edit and uh, send out a different version of the evidence we got as a, as a news post. But we can choose if we want to make it, you know, inflammatory, like, you know, really uh, dramatic um, suspicious circumstances or, you know, cautious with the headline. It's good to see you too, I mean, how, how you guys been doing? What do you got planned for the holidays? You know, all of you guys have been coming in here, uh, you know, Raquel and VG. You gonna do anything big tomorrow? I'm eating good, living a good life. So we want to try and get a big enough headline right now to get her out of trouble because apparently she did something pretty shitty with her last um, report. So suspicious circumstances for Kern's death. Actor Tag Kern may have been murdered, hanging that chief roadsides by someone else. The account of Ruben Simoway Park owner suggests that a second person joined Kern atop the TP Tower. Uh, Simoway claims security footage shows two people struggling. However. Local law enforcement and pounded the recording. Someone has hanged him by the neck from the TV down there. So he saw two people fighting. We're gonna go, we're gonna go inflammatory this one. Let's make it feel like full out, full blown with this one. Murder makes more sense than suicide. awful hobbies. No argument here. I think I'll stick with throwing birds at pigs. Sorry, miss. No one goes inside without proper authorization. Don't you recognize me? I'm Phaedra from FanRage. Oh, sure. You're the one accusing cops like me of covering up security footage. Oh, gosh. Okay, see, so the choices we made already made an effect there. So since we said that they, that they were covering up the footage, now they're being assholes to us. So that would definitely affect the gameplay just now. Uh, let's go, let's backpedal a little bit. I didn't accuse anyone of covering anything up. Good. Because that hard drive contained evidence. We just couldn't leave it with Mr. Silloway. He still thinks CD-ROM drives are for holding beer cans. So, what gives? I'm not at liberty to discuss details of an active criminal investigation. Hmm. Fine. Q. 
Can I get a look inside Kern's motel room? Not without proper authorization. How do I get authorized? Your media. I doubt you can get authorized. Proper law enforcement can contact the Cypress Knee Police Department and request a QR code for credentials. They request a QR code. Wait, what? Using QR codes to get entrance to a, a, a murder scene? That sounds like a major pain in the ass. What, did you play uh, L.A. Noir? Uh, I play it on PC, uh, VG. Um, I got the uh, the full um, complete edition or whatever, like a year or two ago. So I played through about four or five cases this time around. I still have about eight or nine uh, cases to finish in the game, though. Um, so we did about 13, I think, between the last two years. So I basically plan on making LNR a thing, like, pretty much every year. So we have about eight or nine cases left, so probably next time around, I'll probably play through at least four or five of those cases uh, next time around. And then wrap it up, like, in year four, I guess. This is going to be an annual thing, so this is my second year doing this. So hopefully, uh, you know, who knows, maybe it'll be an LNR 2 or something like that. I think a Chicago Noir would be pretty cool, or a New York Noir, something like that. What the hell was this? Um, so we're, we're, we're hackers now, guys. We have to hack, hack the QR code that leads to our freedom, or the options for us to be able to do stuff. So let's put this here, yes. Engaging gameplay, guys. There we go. Put that in there. How do we? How do we flip it? This is this is terrible. Okay, this is not. This is not a good look right now. Let's put that over there. Um, drag the pieces from the sides into this area and place them in the correct position in orientation. So we can rotate them. Okay, cool. I'm about to say, I better be able to rotate or something. Nice. Right, you played the 360 version and it looked uh, nice there. I'm going to try the PC one. I'm sure it looks amazing. Well, yeah, the PC version definitely looks pretty good. Especially with all the facial animations and stuff like that. It definitely helps. I had the game on 360 as well. Um, but I, I never got around to it when it originally came out. I usually, have, I usually have a problem finishing a lot of games, so I, I try and kind of put more effort into, into actually completing games for um, no other members so I can have the replays and the vibes to go back to um, and play through or watch. Okay, this is a little bit weird. So we'll just leave that in here, but there's some parts that are. Like, it looks like it's like ripped. Let's put this here, maybe. And looking for a kind of sketchy part. Yeah, I think, I think that fits. Yeah. As good as it's gonna fit, anyway. It's so weird. that works. Open your mind, Steve. Open this foot into your ass right now. But Raquel, what, what have you been up to? Uh, you know, what do you got planned for Thanksgiving? Are you cooking? Are you uh, got any treats? What do you guys about that eating life? 
I'll be going to my grandparents' place, and uh, most of the family gets together. A lot of my family is from Chicago, so if they, they most of them come, come in together, um, if they are from out of town. But it's usually a good time. You know, we get together, um, and it just it hasn't been as frequent as it used to be. We usually get together a lot more, I feel like, um, as a family. I know some of you guys are jaded with the, the family thing. This is really stupid, whatever's happening here. I'm just chilling with the fam, being a glutton. So for you guys who are who are in chat, you know, what is your what is your favorite dish during Thanksgiving? What's your what's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? What what, what dish do you guys have to have? on Thanksgiving Day for it to be legit for you. Okay, this is, this is pretty ridiculous right now, but this is as close as it get. Like such a jank, a janky puzzle right now. Like I don't even know. This is pretty. This is pretty janky. Yo, A Town. Thank you for the host. A Town assassin. The master of cheese himself. I have to change your command now because I don't think I have the. I don't have your, uh, your new name on there. How's it going, A Town? Well, you're playing some Guardians. Should I show some life? Pick up some sweet potato pie because I'm not cooking. Wait, so you, you buy you you buy one of them uh, one of them patty pies or whatever? Deacon, you about that life? Well, you're, you're cooking lamb. Oh, nice. Well, that's, some, that's some impressive stuff. I, I can't be mad at that. Hey, you get more into cooking again. I usually eat a lot of ham and stuffing, but uh, I usually eat so much potatoes, like pumpkin pie as well. See, like, I, I don't, we don't really do much pumpkin pie in my family for these kind of things. Like, my, like my mom used to get pumpkin pie once in a while, but we didn't really, we didn't really eat it often. Usually it was like, I won't tell you Blue Moon, but definitely not at, not at family events. Oh, let me just use my some keyboard to clean this up a little bit, because this is like a really janky like MS Paint job right here. This is a little bit weird. This 
not, it's not even a bad idea because I don't even know if I'm doing this right. This is like, this is as close as I can get without like looking. Like, like this is an indie game, but I feel like this is gonna be part of the game that like glitches out. It doesn't fucking work at all. lamb chop like the little puppet or whatever but I don't think I've ever seen ever had like you know legit like cooked lamb okay I don't know what I'm doing what's going on here but this should be finished I feel like and it's not so now I'm getting annoyed I thought I had it, but apparently not. Nothing's happening. not working out the way it's supposed to you. What the hell is this puzzle? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that's good to, yeah, that's good to hear. I'm hopefully, hopefully you start feeling a lot better to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm thinking that, like, uh, this year, I, I might just bring some drinks uh, and some stuff like that for, for, for I don't plan on cooking anything. I've helped my mom cook a, a few times over the years, but I think my sister's going to handle that this year. My mom's been pretty much training up my sister to kind of take over at some point as well. So usually we have, like, a mini Thanksgiving dinner, like, you know, me and my immediate family at, at, at the house. And then we go to my grandparents' house. We eat twice. All right, and double dipping is too strong. I think you need to rotate it clockwise. Time little boy, rotate, rotate it clockwise. What are we, what are we rotating? And why? You like rotate the entire puzzle clockwise, or just because we can try that since nothing else is working. So let's put it over there. Put this over here. This is such a weird. This is like even for indie game. Like what? Okay, so it's, it's flashing yellow now. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, we're making progress, guys. Okay, so apparently I had the puzzle the wrong way. So... 
The game is nice enough to tell me I'm making progress on the screen, too. You're making progress. Good job. Okay, this, this is looking like a lot better now. Alright, well... I guess I'm just an idiot, then. That's fine. That's fine. Just good old Detective Denny. Fucking up hacking QR codes that apparently have to be one way or one shape to work. Seems legit. That's bad. That was bad game design. Not your fault. Yeah, that was that was not the best there at all. It's a pretty janky puzzle. Yeah, but we did the hacking, guys. We hacked. Now we have full authority. Like I said, Miss T, no authorization, no act. Here is my stinking badge. Wait, what? Seriously? Just like that? Totally legit. Well, whack me in the head with a gavel and call me a swamp fade. Okay, I guess. <laughs> what is, first off, what is his voice he's using? Second off, whack me in the head with a gavel and call me a swamp ape. That is pretty ridiculous. I don't think that certain people talk like that, but you know, maybe maybe people just not talk like that. I don't think so. It's going on the limb and saying I don't think people talk like that down south. Now, I did hear, uh, what's his name, Shannon Sharp, say that, that, say that a, a woman was firing in frog hairs. And that line still gets me every time. And that's some country ass shit right there. I've never heard that one before. So she was firing, <laughs> she was firing in frog hair. I, I, I was like, what? I should get the table. This is how there's talking to you? Okay. Someone's crawling the mail on the top of the pizza box. It reads, meet at tower at 5.30. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Take a that. Have you ever seen frog hair? No, I haven't seen frog hair. <laughs> the QR codes, the dots on the top, and one on the left. Yeah, I guess I don't think we look at QR codes that closely enough to know. Okay. Current computer tablet offers two accessible sections. Church kept me going through the darkest days of my career. I owe people like Corduroy so much. If I could, chip, if I could triple my annual gift, I would. I should. Let's see how the new movie does. Okay. Operation of Maze Balls. Hey, tag along. Great to hear Bill is moving ahead with hard time. I got good feelings, buddy. Good feelings. 
And if this doesn't bring out, I've got a script for Operation the Maze Balls 12 that you absolutely love. Not as good as 2, but so much better than 9, 10, and, uh, well, let's say about 11, the better, right? Carrie, Carrie Top and Corey Feldman really want you back in the lead role later. Mark and Laurie, that sounds terrible. Let's <laughs> like, not do that movie. Sci-fi. Uh, insurance. So right now we're looking through the emails and uh, the information that we found and the room that uh, Tag Curran was in before he committed suicide as a little bit of So these are all these documents right now. So looking through the, uh, the murder victim. Uh, email insurance. Received a policy document signed and not notarized. As for your request, the Church of Us is the sole dedicated confessionary in the event of your death. Interesting. Okay, so they left all of the U.S. Hall of his... All of his goods to the Church of Us. And of course, that insurance plan would go into effect right before he shows up dead. Cyber's putting some lab got the show on the rise of the Cyber's every day. Avoid this train and see how soon. Lunch tomorrow if you want. My treat down at the watch. Right plot figures. The journal entry, church support. The church can be going through the darkest days of my career. I owe people like Cordoris so much. If I could triple my annual gift, I would. I should. Let's see how the new readings are. Pine nuts, this guy is my boy. Many favors. Pine nuts make me make, make me gassy. Makes for really awkward kickboxing scenes. Pine nuts. What are, what are what are pine nuts? I don't know if I've seen pine nuts before. Uh, Tina will let go. So Tina was with his girlfriend. We saw earlier. He said that they were doing okay. I'm sure Tina believes it when she says she loves me. I wish it were mutual. It's not. She needs to let go. Holding out hope like this is just not healthy. I'll make a, make a clean break of it next time we talk. That's probably why we're arguing. So maybe Tina's uh, delusional about the two of them together. Pizza box message. The note scrawled in, in, the, in black ink on top of a pizza box discovered in Tad Kern's motel. Says me at the tower at 7 30. Principal Way claims that uh, one of the team uh, that actor Tad Kerr and his girlfriend Tina Gray were on day with the actor's sexual and other people. Great, plenty of solid clues in this room. Okay. The best me I can be, the best me I can be, I can sit down at the floor. I hold the power. Immortality is the only option. Crazy there, buddy. Crazy there. Why don't we go back to uh, Operation the Maze Boss? Should be next day in this. That's the cheapest girl. So things here kind of play out like a stage play, like I was saying earlier. So now we have to choose what we want to report about. There's quite a bit in the emails here, though. So right now, we get to choose which headline we want to run and what it's going to be about. So basically, I get to select, based off the clues we just got, I get to choose what I want the headline to be um, and how inflammatory we want it to be as well. We can choose something that's going to be a little bit tantalizing or we can go full out, you know, TMZ style with the uh, headline and try and go for something shocking. So... 
let's see, we, we, we kind of need to get as much hit away as possible, but we went pretty shocking last time. So I don't want to go too overboard, but we'll see. Uh, one in Cyprus. Some pretty quality ones here. Okay, so apparently I chose the wrong news option for that, but it's fine. How'd it feel running into Casey Gaddis at Chief Roadside? I've had better moments. You believe Tina Gray was innocent? As far as I could tell. So it can't be a bit, a bit disjointed, like bouncing around so much. But the characters seem like, you know, simple enough to kind of keep up with their motivations. This guy here is a didn't murder, like Gordon Cordray but much, went didn't down you? his luck. Should have heard how he talked to me, condescending asshole. What happened after you met Cordray the first time? Wandered over to Hungry Chiefs for a word with the movie studio folks about Kern. So it seems like the way they built things around this engine, like, you basically bounce around um, to each scene, and then eventually... And well, Mr. Cordray just wanted to offer my condolences. Thanks, Chief Pendleton. Tag Kern meant a lot to the church and to me personally. So Gordon Cordway here, he's it's a terrible the, uh, loss. Head of the church. The church that the uh, you know now dead actor pretty much gave his, his his life well to. We're going to bring whoever killed him to justice. Count on that. Real justice or justice Florida style? Real justice, Jack. Anyway, I hear your boy signing up for Little League. The ex-wife wants him to play more than video games. We'll see how he does. I'll be his coach if he makes the cut. Well, considering all the trophies you won in high school, that should be great for the team. Thanks, Jack. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should catch up with Ozzy and compare notes before we take our next step. I appreciate your silence on the matter of my counseling sessions with Mr. Kern. Hey, it's all between him and the church. I get it. I'm glad to hear that. Really, it's for the best you refrain from taking our test. Undoubtedly, you'd have been disappointed. Or maybe you try to claim your machine was broken when I kicked the test ass. Why are you bothering me? Tina Gray's not a member of your freak show, is she? Hmm. Our membership roster is confidential. Probably got a better answer out of that one, but it's fine. So we have a few people to talk to you as well. I hope we get some new clues. Uh, there's Tina Gray over here. The uh, ex-girlfriend. You're over. wrong, you know. Teg wasn't grasping for drama.
Please, if he wasn't after drama, why not kill himself in private? Why that goddamn tower? You're right. Way too public. It wasn't suicide, Mr. Bellet. He was murdered. That's a hell of a claim, Ms. Gray. What backs it up? Didn't you see the blogger girl's post about the tower footage? I've been busy. It's no murder confession, but it's a start. I think there's more to what happened to Tag than we've been told by the police. Interesting. So now the storylines are kind of starting to tie together. I'm just reporting about what, what was found on the footage with the, uh, the blogger girl, you say, or Phaedra. But then I'm playing a different character and they're kind of like whining a little bit. Let's see what Remy has to say. Remy bet you didn't know gunshots and the bed, the red. typewriter noises uh, at the start of all the president's bed. Getting married and going to prom, shifty as hell. And you know, I don't know if I would, I don't know if I would rock a red suit. That's a little bit too too much, I think, for me. I guess if he had the swag, then we'll the confidence level to pull it off. Who knows? Gunshots and whips make the uh, typewriter noise that started all the this man? No, I don't know that. I can always count on you for something new to ponder. You want anything else? Scout burger? Fries? Warm mayonnaise pie? Oh, this is, that was not what I want to hear right now, okay? Warm mayonnaise pie sounds absolutely terrible. But given, you know, how things have been going on Twitter with these, um, you know, shitty recipes flying around and people using pop cards and things they shouldn't do, it, I think I'm good on that. But it's been a, world, it's been a strange place in the world right now, 2017, where right, the, like the, the world of terrible taste and awful palates, all right? We've had, you know, Pop-Tarts and cheese. We've had cheese and Frosted Flakes recently. We've got people, you know, putting corn, actual corn and onions and, and cornbread. We've got people dropping freaking Brussels sprouts and carrots and mac and cheese. What's happening now, guys? Okay, what's happening right now in this world we're living in? Too much has gone, gone wrong here. It's a little too crazy. Is that actually a thing? Remy trying new menu experiments. Next time, shrimp in a used diaper. Uh, wait, excuse me? Sir? Shrimp in a, in, a used, in a used diaper, guys. A real delicacy. And how and how are you getting the diaper exactly? And you wearing diapers coming from? Are you wearing a diaper right now? Pause? People bugging you with lots of questions about Tag Kern. Randy guess that goes with the territory. You got some? <laughs> Meal pie sounds disgusting, yes. Oh yeah, I, I wouldn't trust him either. How do you think Kern's death is going to affect Chief Roadside's Wonderland? Remy thinks this puts Chief Roadsides back on the map. Everyone gonna come from miles around to see where Tag Kern off himself. So his death does add more popularity to this like. So you and Yucks who's been writing nonsense strip. about Tag fighting with everyone before he died. So somebody, somebody came around with the right thing. They called that problem. Remy really Yucks who's been writing nonsense about Tag fighting with everyone before he died. Are you saying Jim Larman lied about what he saw? I'm saying maybe he took things out of context. Anything you want to add? I'd like to hear your side. i just say that it was an honor and a privilege to work with Jack. He'll be missed. Interesting. We just saw the detective walk by of the dog. Oh, well, son of a bitch. Just one happy reunion after another in Chief Roadside's Wonderland. <laughs> He's flipping air, basically. I mean, yeah, you know, you gotta, you gotta practice. I'm gonna flip the wrist. You know, you gotta whip it good. Flex out here. You 
You're not still pissed about high school, are you? Really, I'm more angry about the jail time. You stuffed your drugs in my locker and let me take the fall. Wow, okay, well that that's plenty quickly. So you got jail time for that? You better you better apologize. That was a dick move on my part, yeah. A big regret. Among many. Tuck that apology in your porter's notebook, slide the pen in the spine, and jam it all up your ass. <laughs> Yeah, like, fuck you, bro. That's that white privilege right there. Because these kids don't know how to cook. No, the thing is that, like, this shit was happening on, like, these, like, you know, you know how you get the, like, those recipes, or whatever, like, those, like, food videos that pop up on, on Facebook and stuff? Like... They were, that statement was popping up on, on, on Facebook with them putting putting corn and making fiesta cornbread and shit. And pouring in, you know, a can of corn and there are some onions and some chilies. And some, some, some chili uh some, some chili powder and stuff. Putting some fresh cilantro on top of the cornbread, like it's a damn quesadilla or something. It's, it's just too much. Too much for my brain. And the mac and cheese was on Food Network. There was the people were cooking that shit on Food Network. Top it on Brussels sprouts and throwing them in there. I love cornbread, but hell no to that. Well, exactly. I mean, like when we say we like cornbread, okay, doesn't mean you get to go put actual corn in 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 the flour. All right, because they they use like half flour, half cornmeal, and a whole can of corn. And then they have like this like maple bacon, like maple bacon cornbread with like diced up bacon and maple syrup. I'm like, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just doing too much. Just doing too much. All right. Sometimes it's just good to live life and, and just do the simple things. All right. Keep it simple and good. All right. So anyway, let's get the report on what we heard here to our our uh, our chief. I just imagine like J.D. Jameson just like shouting out stuff. We need more stories about Spider-Man. I'm gonna give him some stuff about this instead. Keep him happy. Yeah? Nice work on the current beats. Thanks. Nice. Okay, so we passed that one at least, so... Our article's getting picked up. So, we're getting the reports we need from this guy. Anyway. Please, I just got my stuff in back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Deacon. I'm sorry. 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 I spent a lot of my childhood hanging out here. Now, it's where Remy Dixon hooks me up with my facts. Some, like, really rustic, like, roasted potatoes. Like, it's like a giant, like, beef stew would be good right now. Like, it's like a pot roast with, like, some potatoes, some carrots, you know. I had a weird craving for like some roasted vegetables. They really went hard on the reverb. Yeah, there's some weird audio mixing with these places. 
been a lot of time, a lot of my childhood hanging out here, and now it's here every day, so it me up with my face. Pretty sure he breaks into homes in Jacksonville to get those variety packs for me. So here I am, back at the Mohawk Inn. I'm still curious about a few things. The more I chase the story Ross wants, the crankier I get. Ross signs my paychecks. He calls the shots. But I'm a journalist. No matter how far I've fallen from my golden boy days, I don't want to run from real news. Maybe he'll fire me. Maybe that's okay. Maybe I'll get motivated to do something new. Maybe I wasn't meant to always be a journalist. Better dig a little more like, while I'm still employed. Right Let's see what Rutledge Silloway can offer in the way of news. Yeah, Even Jack, Jack right now, Ross got you working the Tag Kern story like everybody else? Uh, so, like, lately I haven't really been craving meat too much. You know, just every once in a while with certain meals, but... You know, I guess I like around this time with Thanksgiving and everything going on. Like, I just suddenly have this like weird craving. I'd rather grab some pie with my kid down at the watch. Must suck for you hunting sloppy seconds behind that blogger girl. Like it must suck to be an ancient tourist trap off a busy highway. Sad but true. More folks drive by here in a day than used to go by in a year. We're lucky if a dozen stop by to refuel or grab a snack. Time passes us all by. And we're left munching dust and love bugs in its wake. Sad to see you settling for some out-of-towner's scraps. I'm more interested in what's going on with Golden Cypress. How's that news? Everyone knows the development's coming. Not everyone knows that Gary Buckingham and Eula Dean are conspiring to ram a pipeline through Cypress Swamp. Now, now, Jack, you want to be careful going around with your mouth half-cocked like that. It does get me in trouble a lot. Maybe you should take the hint. Interesting. Alright, so I'm looking for the right answer right now for the headline. It's kind of interesting how they spin this game, because, like, basically, you get to set your headlines to report, or your articles, or whatever, and you want something that will actually hit in a way that will get him in a, a good state of mind. how to uh, spin this story in a way that, works, that makes sense. It's really awkward hearing voice actors exaggerate a southern accent. I mean, like, talking like this, because, you know, which is also, oh, yeah. My golly, I tell you, uh, it's all down, down there. Get on out of here. Just make it up, shit. <laughs> oh, gosh.
You know what's even funnier though? Like watching, um, watching like people from like other countries, like like people from like England and stuff like that, like get together and like try and do an accent. But they're really good at doing like you know straight up American accents. You know, like like people like you know like uh, Hugh Laurie who played House had a, had a pretty solid um, accent. Um, Rick from Walking Dead is another one that has a really solid accent. But a few other people kind of really have some trouble with it. Hi, Ross. You get my story? What? I'm just writing the truth. You're gonna marry me down, ain't right? Got it. Jesus, what a dick. Can it be more obvious that he's in Buckingham's pocket? If anyone's got it worse than me in this world, it's gotta be Jim Larman. Yeah, well, apparently our boss didn't like that very much. But oh well. Got busted for statutory rape and drug charges after a cocaine-fueled night with a teenage girl. What the hell? That's a pretty, pretty raunchy or uh, intricate story there for the dialogue choice I chose there. But whatever, that's fine. I learned the hard way not to piss off the wrong woman. At least I lived to tell the tale. Yo, Deacon, thank you. Thank you for, for gifting BG Rome that sub. Deacon, you're awesome. The first, um, like, sub gift, I believe, that uh, I've had in the stream. I really appreciate that. So, VG, you now have access to a sweet emote. The sub hype. Thank you, thank you, Deacon. I really appreciate that. Well, BG, now that Deacon has, has I get it to you as a, uh, you are a member of the Rapscallion Club, you get to enjoy the hype. <laughs> yeah, it's all you. You have to refresh the stream, though, before it'll, it'll show for you. But thank you, Deacon, as well, and, and hopefully you enjoy the sub. You get, you get 30 premium days of, of awesome ability. All right, so let's see what we can find out here from this guy. But yes, thank you. Salute to Deacon. I'm thankful for you guys. You know, that's my Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, I'm thankful for you guys in the stream who have uh, been helping me out. Both with, uh, you know, of course, the sub and the kind of stuff. But just for being here, um, it makes it so much uh, fun. I can interact with you guys and talk. Uh, makes it really, really pretty pretty awesome just to be able to do this. Uh, you guys take up, you know, hang out with me, doing my crazy ideas and stuff like this. So, really appreciate it. Always good if you're still kicking to count the scar. Tamara is still working you over with her claws, Jack. Oh, I was going to text her on. Still working you over with her claws, Jack? Well, yes, Still. Guys. Doubt it's ever gonna end. Not as long as you've got a kid together. 
She just wants what's best for Reggie. Yeah? What if she decides taking full custody is best for him? I'd fight her to the bitter end. Looks like somebody finally escaped from the bathroom. Oh, look who it is. Eula Dean, town planner for Cypress Knee. Gary Buckingham's co-conspirator. Be nice to get her side of the scandal. I understand your concerns, Jack, but can't you see how good Golden Cypress would be for our town? Hmm. Don't come looking for me to shake pom-poms at this little bonfire of yours. She's standing like she wants to like flex on somebody. It was going on. Everybody, uh, fart needles. That name, though. What's up? What on the stream. It's important that you're on board for this, Jack. Don't lose sight of what matters most. You want the best for Reggie, right? It's about ethics, Yola. I hate compromising what I stand for. I agree with that. Integrity is definitely, uh, definitely important. Deal with reality. If Golden Cypress dies on the vine, your newspaper survives another year. Maybe two. The project goes forward, you're looking at a real boost in circulation. He's like strong arming me right now. So basically you're saying if I, if I report on the scandal, then, you know, that would lead to my newspaper falling down a year later. And then it would be a bigger problem for my actual source of income. So I should just be part of your little cover-up, madam? That's a hard truth, and maybe you're right. But I'm not wired to lie to my readers. I hope we can count on your support going forward. I'll support any plans you have for going straight to burning hell. Jack Bellet, we must talk. I can't wait to hear this guy read change your about the from Eagles computer race? Okay. roadsides again. <laughs> why did why did why did it change from computer race to fart needles? This is a pretty it's a pretty drastic change from between the two. Gotta say, how's it going? It's a small town. Let the cover stuff up. You're right about that. That is very true. Even big towns let the cover stuff up. It's going to end in a cataclysm, Jack. Everybody deals with their own personal apocalypse sometimes. The spirits grow angrier. They will lay waste to the abominations that fester here. If I were them, I'd be pissed too. Flee, Jack Bellet. Take your family and escape this place while it remains within your power to do so. Uh... How about, you know, we just chill out a little bit. You can be brought with the hippie guy right here. This guy right here, he's got the right idea. You know, he's just... Yeah, man. It's all about that freedom and, like, peace and stuff, bro. Make love, not war, dude. We're gonna just, like, totally just chill out a bit. He just, like, smoking with doobie. You know, the Snoop Dogg rocks, man. Jimi Hendrix. I like her and make a truth, right? Yeah, like this is now, dude. Amazing. Let's not go overboard with the melodrama. I've heard a movie, yeah, The Other Way to Die the West. But I've not seen it. Let's not go over and, and, uh... When the time comes for regrets, remember, you were warned. Roger that. Oh, wow. You're the newspaper reporter, huh? Let me guess. Fan rage blogger? Must suck to be you. That is a pre it is a pre current problem right now. Like the the, the newspaper compared to like an actual blog. Area. Never gotten over how Bell had framed me with the problem. Like, was my life. a lot of issues and I was still with glue with your own was around was around the cusp of when that started making that huge transition into some of the digital news. And all of the platforms started using it even more, like CNN. From CNN, this is kind of like the same thing. The age of the newspaper has pretty much died out. 
and now everything is, you know, news that you can digest on your Twitter feed. People need it right now, you know. Doggy. We've been pals until that spring. Cost me graduating with the rest of the class. Had to settle for a GED. Past is past. Gotta wrap up this investigation, take the studio's money, and think about what's next. I'm still worried Miller's playing me. So what? Okay, well that's, that's some, there's some weird options there, bro. But yes, I've, I've not seen that movie. But it sounds like it, it sounds extremely I'm pretty painful. sure Rutt doesn't allow there. pets in his motel. Pretty sure Rutt doesn't allow pets in his motel. Well, look at this one. I'm just working the current case for Red Eclipse Studios. Fairly sure they'd find bed bugs picking at my bones by morning if I stayed here. You're Casey Gaddis, right? Sure feels like it most days. I knew your daddy back in the day. Your mama, too. What does that mean? Didn't you kick them out of the watch for trying to get a table for dinner among the white folk? Just following my manager's rules at the time. Nothing personal. Just business, huh? Okay, well, that's cringy as hell. Look, son, don't come round here grinding that old axe. Your people got those simple rights now. What now? Excuse me, your people. All right, well, Gary Buckingham's a fucking racist, but all right, that's fine. I think you mean civil rights. Ain't got nothing to do with some crazy lady with a bunch of personalities. So Jefferson Dean Gallant tells me y'all want to knock down his house and tear up the swamp for a natural gas pipeline. Our ex-mayor's a real drummer queen sometimes. Don't you mean... Drama queen? Drummer queen? Really. She ain't got nothing to do with seasickness. Wow. Is Gallant telling the truth? He's blowing it way out of context. I mean, yeah, his shack may suffer some structural indignity issues, but he can build another shack. I suspect you meant structural integrity issues. Ain't got nothing to do with insurance policies. Yes, yeah, it is pretty cringy. Fifty dollars a night. Your crime no investigator game. That means well, no I really like LA Noir. No ferrets it's either. My, it's part of pretty much every Noir that ever. But I really like how the, the crime um, options allow you to both interrogate, um, you know the suspects but also find individual clues and the chase downs and that kind of stuff is always awesome what the kind of time periods is in I honestly can't tell you it's a mixture of time periods but it's basically played out on a stage play so you move from each set piece basically of each character right now we're playing as a detective uh, who's looking around to make sure there's no foul play with what's happening with uh, a supposed suicide of an actor who died uh, while shooting for a movie. Um, so it's basically what we're doing right now. There's three different characters you basically run through with different dialogue and options. I'm not looking for a room, Mr. Silloway. Have we met? You set a cross on fire in my family's front yard back in the day. I am an upstanding member of the Cypress Knee Chamber of Commerce. Never been in the clan. It was a windy night. You didn't wear a chin strap. The hood flew off. It wasn't me, friend. Could have been my twin brother Doyle. He ran with that crowd before they made him mayor. This big development across the road could boost Chief Road signs. Maybe. Might be the last nail in our coffin, too. 
No, of course yeah, they twin might brother. buy me out. That's, that makes That'd sense. be fine. Yeah, you basically get the form, the dialogue, and each of your choices kind of leads to a uh, a different dialogue choice. But you don't really know exactly how far deep it's going to go as far as the, the storyline goes with the dialogue choice right away. So sometimes I choose a dialogue choice and it goes to, it goes like far left, like you know, I wasn't even thinking about that at all. And sometimes it's, it's right on point. So. That, 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 uh, the idea right now is pretty cool. Like, you can kind of form your story about the characters over time of it. So it makes it pretty solid. It's going to look like some, some, some BS, yeah. Uh, if you want to like my Twitter and stuff, you can just do social. Um, yeah, the stage play is a, is a pretty cool idea. I think if they were like a bigger team, they probably could do a lot more of that idea, you know, in different ways. But it's, it's a pretty cool concept for a game. Another interesting thing is that this game has uh, has VR options to it for some reason. It came out last year, like 2016. But there's a VR like, uh, built into it, so you can actually play this in VR for some reason. to call. I got yeah, sorry, you. Mom. Sorry. Your work's important. I'm just an old, retired mama in an empty nest. Don't you worry about me. I won't leave town without seeing you. Better not. You'll make your mom cry. Don't worry. All right, Mom. This is this, this stupid cop Casey here. Dennis, it's been way too long, man. First off, his name Good is Ozzy Clemening. Ozzy Clemening. What the hell kind of name is that? <laughs> like, it sounds like it's too much. Anyways. You too, Ozzy. I miss our old tabletop gaming days. You still play much maps and mischief? Sometimes, when I get a chance. It's still fun. If you want to move back, now's the time. Golden Cypress awaits. Yeah, that project keeps coming up. Something special. Everyone thinks it's going to turn Cypress Knee back into a boom town. Hope that works out. Boss tells us you left this town a long time ago. Yeah, who the fuck? Who, who are you guys? I don't appreciate how you're staring at me with your um, your red shirt. Boss thinks maybe you should have stayed left. I wouldn't be here if I didn't have to be. It's just business. Take your business somewhere else, I think the boss wants to say. Don't worry. I won't be sticking around much longer. Case is pretty much closed. You put a red shirt, yeah, yeah. This turns to Star Trek all of a sudden. Next time, put it in writing. We'll give him a little bit of bite. You know, I should while. probably make another report now. Better check those receipts. What the hell yeah. is that force for raspy well, voice? You're a fat faced old man with a DJ. bad haircut. And you have to talk with a bit of a rasp to your voice so that it sounds more like this. Just pretend it's a mixture of raspiness and maybe a little bit of a gravel in there. Like you're just kind of smoking about five or six cigarettes. You know? 
I mean, it could be worse. It could be talking like, you know, a full out snake or a big boss or something. Middle Gear. You know, when you're a fat faced old man with a bad haircut, jeez. Savage. At least I don't get my hair color from a bleach bottle. Shut your face, geezer. Careful, Jack. This kitty's got claws. I don't have time for you geriatrics anyway. I'm taking a look at that tower. Nothing to see there. Kern's at the morgue by now. I'm going up there. For reasons. Shut up. Hey, you want to peek at the tower? Go for it. I just assume grab a smoke and a beer, call it a night. Maybe the universe is trying to tell you something. Never been a fan of following instructions. I'll just track down Remy and see if he can get me up that tower. Later, old dudes. No smoke, no switcher. Go back to the studio. But don't smoke, kids. Yeah. Follow, follow your dare program. I hate, I hate cigarettes. The tower's gone dark. Probably because something's up there the bad guys don't want us to know. They're out everything. That was going dark. Probably because something's up there the bad guys don't want us to know. We don't want to find this. If I can find who's really behind this, maybe it was the greasy fast food I ate on the road last night. But I had such a nightmare. Slipped, fell into a churning sea, and I gave in to despair. Slipped below the surface, and then she's sassy, I guess. Yeah, she's supposed to be sassy and edgy because she's the plotter. The universe told me I'd get all pretty in my watery grave. Yeah, I'm not sure what her, what her fast food either. Really, she was tripping balls. Weeping lizards extravaganza. Well, that looks like it's a uh, fantastic. Remy bet you didn't know ancient Greeks called lavender Nardis. Okay. Is that Greek for best, most awesome ever? Oh, Remy just jammed half with useful facts like that. Alright, Remy. Got Remy any Lobo. useful facts about the tower? It went dark, and I want to go up. I don't know if people will name Remy except for uh, Gambit from X Men. You help Remy? Could be Remy help you. What if Remy you needs to stop talking in third person first off. Remy, take care of the Gator Pit here at Chief Roadsides. Right now, it's time to feed old Jump. Doesn't ring a bell. He's a star attraction here. Big old Gator. <laughs> Draws fans from yards around, does he? Careful, Cher. Jumper here, you might no, hurt. Sheba, that's for the raid. Yeah. Sheba scream. Sheba raid, thank you guys for coming through with the viewers and the hype, the host. I appreciate that, Sheba, thank you. Welcome in, welcome in from Sheba stream. Let's see what you were playing. Let's take a look. But you didn't sh sh uh, show she was screaming from love. You stopped by earlier. She was, she was playing some, uh, some, uh, some Guild Wars too. Nice. Everyone seems to be getting into that game a little bit. So I'm looking forward to maybe trying it out myself. We gotta check out Shiba. Show us some love. She just wrapped up playing some spooky games recently. And has been trying out some new stuff. So check her out sometime. Uh, she's uh, got plenty of charisma for you. And wants to have some solid conversation, so feel free to say hi and uh, check her out, see how she's doing. He's calling me. Always weird timing. Yeah, 
you know, not scream a lot. Well, that, well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be careful when you say stuff like that. All right. She screams a lot playing horror games, guys. Don't worry. Mostly, she, she even had a lot of fun though. Dead by Daylight was pretty fun to watch too. You and L playing that game it was always hilarious. In my opinion. You two. Well, we're playing a game called uh, Knee Deep. Uh, if you guys are new to the stream, this is uh, my Noir November month. And basically the entire month we spend time uh, playing a bunch of different mystery games, crime dealers, other titles. Um, and, and try and have fun with it. This game is a, a bit of a different twist than pretty other ones I've played so far. So make sure you're point and click and other stuff. Uh, Big old jumper. Here. He can't resist a tasty chicken in a diaper. What? Pick up what we need from the fun and few. Wait, come again? What, what was that? What's so appealing about chicken in a diaper? Looks like a chubby little infant to that old gator. Gets him hungry every time. Yeah, I I don't even know what to say about that dialogue just now, but just <laughs> back soon. Well, he, he's on something, I'm sure. He, he was talking about hot man, hot mayonnaise uh, pie earlier, so pretty weird. Yeah, eat something, Chiba. You know, get some food. Food is good. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Hopefully you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving uh, uh, day, most part. Food. Mind yeah. telling me how you got Family access to a computer all, tablet inside a crime scene, Miss T? That man off the Zans, basically. Just doing my job. I don't burn sources, Chief Pendleton. Luckily, what you put out there seems mostly harmless. Next time. My stories get plenty of traffic for fan rage. If anything, this current fiasco probably locked me into my job for a good long while. So I was reading your blog. You picked up some interesting tidbits about our little town. I do what I can to keep it fresh. Uncle Dad, that's my cousin. Family reunions are an absolute freak show. I'd buy a ticket to that circus. Uncle Dad. It's a weird name. <laughs> Bruh, it's like they keep putting this guy in two different scenes. Good to see you got your boy Bellet on a tight leash. Run around like crazy person. Can you say the same about the blogger girl? We've got an ace in the hole waiting for her. Don't sweat it. Hmm. Interesting. Remy bet you didn't know a baby uses 6,000 diapers in the first two. Oh, hey, Cher. So you didn't really need my help. Remy just need to see what you do, Cher. Help appreciated always. Not really in the mood for games. Don't be grumpy, Cher. Let Remy show you feeding time with old Jumper. You promised useful information for my help. Uh, right. Remy deliver on a promise. Cops got the teepee tower closed off. Took fuse for the lights. Old Jim Larman got a spare if you want to look at the crime scene. Where's Larman now? Remy bet you find him in Rabbit's Run, Cher. The big palmetto maze. Keeps his supplies out there. Now, Jumper? Might as well. Remy bet you don't know what drove old Gallant into the swamps all those years ago. Big old gator named Merle mistook Gallant's wee baby for a diaper. The diaper gator though. got away off in the yonder swamp. Are really that serious? Gallant? He ain't been right since. I don't think the crocodiles are necessarily like more hungry for babies than the animals.
Kern's not this story. His girlfriend's not news either. What's the story? The way you see it. Those crazy weists, the movie people, even the town politicos, they're all in on a new development that's gonna destroy my home. Weists and actors and bureaucrats, oh my! How do they hide it? By distracting people like you with dead actors. The world needs to know about the travesty of Golden Cypress, kid. Thousands of homes, retail shops, and a natural gas pipe. That does sound like a lot to throw at a swamp. Much worse than some has been after not sharing my oxygen anymore. Did you ever find the gator that ate your baby? Ate my boy. Took my wife's arm. Jeez. Big albino bastard named Merle. No. Of course he would be named Merle. Not yet. Where is she now? No idea. She left town. Never heard from her again. You see why they have the reverb now? Oh, why? I had the sound pretty low on my end, so it wouldn't pick up an echo at all um, for you guys on the mic. So I don't really, I don't really hear it very highly. Clickbait. The hits just keep coming. There's a stage and those places are built to put a uh, project, unless I'm uh, giving too much credit, but it's plausible. Well, that's true. Keeping busy tonight, eh? Remy claims you keep extra fuses for the tower elevator. I want to look at that crime scene. Hey, now look, I doubt the cops want civvies stomping around up there. I won't touch anything. Just getting details for my story. Oh, what the hell. Just don't tell them I gave it to you. I don't want to lose what little I've got here. Fair enough. No, even though I'm here. What is this? No, oh, this is like a puzzle. This is gonna be great. This is doing a lot right now. Just want to save that piece for now. Uh, let's try to find the light yellow piece. Two right there.
much for me right now. My brain is like, what? That really makes sense. Let's go for the green and blue. There should be one that's gonna have like a little bit of each in there. my practical like puzzle puzzle solving skills are just like hella trash lately. Ricardo, thanks for the host. Appreciate that shout out to McCall. I've only recently been able to uh, check her out in the stream. But it's, uh, it's been nice uh, watching her play a bunch of different games. I'm not gonna lie, I would brute force it just because it looks like a mess. Yeah, it looks like it's just ridiculous right now. There's a lot going on here. Well, thanks for the yeah, host for that. I appreciate that. I'll give you a shout out. Um, yeah, right now, it's uh, there's a lot going on here. I have been playing a lot of Fortnite myself uh, on PS4. Yeah, me and Molina are like looking for more people. PSN's the same as here, getting on them. Yeah, I'm like I'm totally probably missing all this right now. Some progress. Uh, we need more green and blue. I don't know if that makes sense there. Stickers. Okay, we need two green lines now, um, like this. Should match up here. Oh, this is the right one. Yeah, usually I play it from Molina's Arcade. We play a lot. So if you ever want to like play it fast, we're usually looking for, for more people to play with. Uh, me and Molina, we play, we play, uh, kinda, kinda often now. We've been playing on PC as well. I have the game on both. 
Yeah, I have a lot of fun with Fortnite. I haven't gotten, uh, I haven't gotten my own uh, umbrella chicken dinner or whatever yet, though. Have you won any games? Like, have you actually, like, uh, you know, any EWs? I'm not quite that good yet. Hover around them, they, they turn yellow. Okay. Let's just help a little, a little bit, at least speed up the process. So just hover around one until it's yellow, and then figure out how to make it work. Okay, it's going a lot faster now. Son, we did it, guys. We survived, but I don't know how that was. All right, so I thought it was like you know, extremely time consuming and, and really That's not, more not like enjoyable it. to watch there, but it's yeah, we did it. Let's go to the top of the tower and see what we can find out. You're okay, you take care up there. No way to fall if you trip. Wait, what are you doing here? Oh, what the hell? Yo, he just stabbed him. What the what? Once again, breaking the rules bites me right on the end. I'll get help, and I'll make whoever did this wow, pay. Wow, okay, that escalated quickly. I'm sorry. What the hell? You got shanked. You shouldn't be snooping around here, Miss T. What are you guys doing here? Someone's trying to cover their tracks. Stab Jim Lama, then ran this direction. If we catch him. Maybe he'll turn evidence against Miss Gray here. You've got it all wrong. I didn't do anything. I'd never hurt Ted. Church of us. Wow, really? Well, look who it is. How does 
killing Kern and Larman held your goddamn church. The church held a significant insurance policy on Mr. Kern's life. Suicide with no effect. Murder, on the other hand, means millions. We owe you so much for helping bring this crime to life. In the church coffers? Mike, I'll be happy to. Share the well. Turn on the town into a dynamic engine of modern commerce. Only if we can keep our dealings well concealed. Have a little faith in you. The church is about the money. Down. It's more about the money because of what I chose. It's not the church I'm worried about. Ramona T could. Wreck it all at once. That'd be a mistake. If the church can make you rich, we can be a powerful ally and a devoted friend. I've seen what the church does to its friends. All in the name of greed. Greed? I pushed, I pushed your being a warrior. You're swimming a big blue city. city. It's not. All bet. All of them. And if we can't stop their schemes, we'll lose Cypress Swamp. They'll obliterate our sacred tribal lands. We can't do this all on our own. Between the crazed cult fanatics and dirty politicians, we're totally outgunned. The spirits won't abide this madness. And that blogger girl can help us. She's just got to... Get your mind right. We're so much closer than you think, Lamar. Let me help you. Let me try to make up for all the lost years. I think your brain's overheating, old man. Casey Gaddis got it all wrong 20 years ago. Boy, Conover's not your father. I never loved your mother. But she pleased me. And she proved useful in getting Conover out of my way. Why would Mom lie to me all this time? Okay, well that's... This is, this is a lot right now. Okay, my expect. This is coming out, out of nowhere. I'm not so You need to face the consequences of your actions. Just remember, little girl, immortality is the only guy. What the hell? Uh, what? What am I supposed to do with a bullshit revelation followed by a suicide jump? So much blood on his hands. And it goes back years. He used me to get what he wanted. Just like he used Casey Gaddis. Well, Gaddis isn't much of a martyr. He wrecked Mom's life, and poor Boyd Conover got caught in the crossfire. Immortality is the only option. I've heard that bit of weeist gibberish before. Judging from that corpse down there, guess mortality was a perfectly viable second option. Rutledge bet you didn't know neutering a ferret too young causes him to get cancer. So I say, snip all the fair babies. Right, Jumper? Jumper? Shit, not again! Meanwhile, at the Cypress Knee Town Board, doctors examine the body of Tag Girl. Bro, there's a lot. Okay, this is, this is guy a little, a little bit crazy. There's a lot of bouncing around happening right now. It's all right. Tag Kerr never got an appendectomy, according to his records. Yet, here's a scar. Huh. Remember Ray Joe Swayhill? He got an emergency appendectomy a few years back. Oh, yeah, right. So? He won a Tag Kern look-alike contest at the Founders Day Festival back in 1997. Right, so everyone's freaking out about the wrong dead guy? Might be worse than that. Ray Joe's brother Jack is in drawer three. Ozzy Clendenning called it in as an accidental death. So where's the real Tag Kern? Where's the real Tag Kern? Exactly. The Prologue Theater thanks you for providing an excellent performance of Knee Deep Act One, Wonderland. Remember where you're sitting and come back for Act Two, Festival. The end. For now. Wow. Well, that was... 
a lot. <laughs> that, was, that was quite a bit there at the end there. Um, so I guess that's it. I don't know. The, I don't know if there's a part two though. That escalated really quickly there. A lot of disposition happening. voice acting was cringe. Do you just jumps to his death and the reaction is, uh, hell, I'm not even sure. Yeah, I don't even know what the hell to say about that. I don't even know what to say about that. I'm pretty sure there's more. Let me just double check. There's probably hit for tonight, but uh, I'm gonna see if there's another part. I can definitely say it next time. Welcome back from intermission. Yeah, so it looks like there's more than one part, so that was quite a doozy. I'm not going to start a new part to this game right now. Um, we've already been going for a couple hours. But at least we got a little bit of a taste of the game. Uh, I probably, I'm not sure if we get back to playing this again um, this month, but we would be able to play it again sometime soon. Uh, if there's options for it. But the game is saved too, it seems, so... Let me make sure, it, me make sure it's saved properly. Alright. Well, that's, uh, Knee Deep. So yeah, depending on if, if I end up uh, running through the other games quicker, then he might come back to it, but I, I don't know if that's going to happen. But once we finished up the first part of it, so at some point, if I end up coming back to it again, um, you know, next month or whatever, could be interesting. But that was a pretty crazy first part of the game. I'm glad it wasn't the only part of the game. Uh, so we we'll to get some more answers at some point. But interesting. Apparently, there, apparently there's three acts. I'm looking at it now. So apparently there's three acts to the game. So there's actually quite a bit more gameplay left. I think it took me a bit longer than I thought it would for that. So there's probably going to be at least, you know, a good three or four more hours of it left to play. It's like the other world in uh, Silent Hill, but there's no other world. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good way to think of it, yeah. I can kind of agree. 